As I got older and, and went out into the world, I, re I realised that actually it wasn't a very friendly place to be. And I thought, we need armour. For me, when I do something, whatever it is, the doing of it is much more interesting than the other side. It's a sort of reverse. So maybe this is my way of kind of getting more comfortable with people. think about myself in the world. In me is nothing. I'm just someone that's living in 2011. I just am what I am. And then I'm, then when people label me eccentric or different, I'm kind of astonished because I sort of, I think well, this is completely normal. This is just how I am, that's how I've always been. And that's why I gravitated towards people that were as shy as I was, and we all sort of huddled together, like on a raft. This is beautiful. Isn't this just like liquid sky? When I start doing something visual, it's because I can't express it in words. Something on a hanger is something on a hanger. And then it could be the most simple thing, and then when it's put on, then you get it. To be in the moment is the best thing you can possibly do. It doesn't only transform the, the wearer, it transforms the piece, and it, it locks.
And it's a sort of installation, and I think it's a celebration. It's funny, when you see the suit of armour and then you sometimes can see a portrait of the person that wore it, you'll see the sort of, you'll see that that person was rather sort of, rather um, sort of tiny and, and not very, and a little feeble. So they put on this great big armour to sort of look a little bit more, a little bit more uh, frightening. To me, it was always contramundum. It was always against the world. Now I know it's sort of limitless. Because I'm not a performance, I'm not a performer, I think it makes it more human. Part of being a conscious human being is having an intention. And if you put an intention into your whatever you do, it's definitely going to be more satisfying at the end.